Hello, my name is Steve. Welcome back to my shop. A couple of years ago, everybody was making pallets. Uh, they were making out of aluminum. They're all different sizes and configurations. And I decided not to do it because everybody else was doing it. I didn't do a video. But I was recently working on a project that I needed a pallet. So this is what I came up with. It measures five inches wide by about eight and a quarter long and it's one inch thick 6061 aluminum so in this video I'll show you how I made it but before we start that I got some viewer mail I want to share with you uh, another youtuber Mike Rustinox I think that's why has sent me his sticker. I'll put it up on my board. Mike is a great guy, very funny, very talented with the shaper. Uh, he's from Belgium and he's also sponsoring a program called Hashtag Coat Hanger. And I will be participating in the Coat Hanger project. I don't think it's really a competition, but it's a competition. I will be building my own coat hanger uh, to participate in this project. So check it out, hashtag coat hanger. So let's get started. This side of the plate has had a dimple bored into it. It was actually used as a pressing plate for an operation that my father used to do. But it's going to be the bottom of the pallet, so I'm not going to go after it. I'm just going to smooth the bottom off and then I'll finish it off on the top. Gonna touch down. And take about twenty thousandths cut. belts were a little loose. I uh, just took a little bit lighter cut and uh, using some cutting fluid on it. Thank you. 
I'm pretty happy with the finish on that. Pretty good. Kind of turn it over and put a finish on the uh, business side. That's better. I'm happy with that finish. Very good. Now I'm going to put an end mill in and square off the two ends. That's all the travel I've got. Let's see what I can do about that. I had to move my vise back and retram it. I'm ready to go. Let's try this again. I'm drilling them on three quarter inch centers. I'm using my DRO. I've scribed it just to keep myself honest, but. Okay, I'll bring you back when I'm a little closer to done. This is the last of 77 holes. Okay, the pallet's all drilled, and now I'm just going to go over it and uh, deburr it both sides, 
and it'll be ready to power tap it. Okay, all the holes have been deburred both sides and I'm ready to start tapping. Well, there it is, all tapped and ready to go. I'm not going to lie to you, I broke a tap off in it. I was trying initially to tap the full one inch thickness and I could do it but I got a little bit aggressive and broke a tap so what I ended up doing is uh, boring in from the back quarter inch holes or six millimeter holes to about five eighths deep which gives me three quarter three eighths of an inch of thread on each hole and that made the uh, tapping much much easier and it makes the bolts easier to get in and out also so there it is all ready for the next project thanks for watching see you in the next video